Hey folks, welcome to another how-to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do normal distribution with a different mean and standard deviation, uh, not the regular Z1, on this particular Casio graphics calculator. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so nothing's different with this particular one apart from us changing the mean and standard deviation. So, to do this, we're going to switch on the calculator, click on Main Menu, and we're going to go into the stat mode and under stat mode we're going to go into distribution which is F5 and we're going to click on normal which is F1 and we're going to click on NCD which is F2 and of course make sure that your data is in variable and not as a list if it is shown as a list just click on F2 which actually changes to variable now if you look at the first question our first question our lower limit is 100 so we're going to click on 100 our upper limit is 137 and our standard deviation is 17 and our mean is 125 there we go and you can actually press exe straight away which means you're going to give get the probability but what i like to do is i like to just drop down one more step and there's a little button to draw and we're going to click on f6 what that does is it actually shows you the diagram as well as the probability now of course with the probability if it's too tiny for you what you could always do is just click on f1 which is calculate and you can see what the probability is so in this case the probability is uh, 0 0.6892 now what you'll notice is that it actually gives you the Z scores as the lower and upper limit. So again, if you do need that Z values in your exams, you can just take that down from here as well. All right, so let's look at question number two, when we have X greater than 129. Now in this case, our lower limit is going to be 129. And as for our upper limit, we're going to put 1 times 10 to the power of 10. So that kind of covers the highest number possible. And we're going to go down and click on draw again. And when we do this, we actually can see the diagram, which shows that, that the mean, which is 125, so that's going to be in the middle. 129 is probably just a little bit to the right, and we're looking for x greater than 129. So in this case, the probability is equal to 0.5. 4070. And again, I'm sticking to four decimal places. In different countries, they might have different requirements. Just check in with your local um, local guys there just to see what decimal places you are going to need for these questions. And finally, we've got uh, X less than 100. So if X is less than 100, our upper limit is going to be 100. And our lower limit is going to be negative 1 times 10 to the power of 10 we're going to do this and we're going to press enter and what you can see is the probability of 0 0.0707 again I'd like to just have a quick look at the diagram because that always helps me just to see if I'm on the right track so if I click on F6 that's going to give me the diagram and as you can see 125 is in the middle there so I would expect 100 to be here and I'm looking for less than 100 which is 0 0.0707 and folks, that's pretty much how you do normal distribution when the mean and standard deviation are not your standard 0 and 1 on this particular graphics calculator. Restart. And folks, that's pretty much how you do normal distribution with mean and standard deviation when it's not your standard 0 and 1 on this particular Casio graphics calculator.